everyone and welcome to another video. Um, I have been on an obsession with Hoyas as most of you probably know and I thought that we need an all Hoya video but I don't want to make a collection video because that is just too much job or work because this girl got some a lot of Hoyas but I do love small leaf Hoyas there is a lot of big leaf Hoyas or medium sized leaf Hoyas and those are pretty too but I really like the ones that has tiny leaves so today I am going to show you my top five tiny leaf Hoyas so you can all enjoy their tiny tininess and we are going to try to go biggest to smallest so the first we are going to talk about is the Crohoniana and I think that is a Lacunosa type or hybrid or I don't know, exactly know uh, but I have two different Crohonianas and the first one is an Eskimo or Splash and you can see that the leaves are really tiny and they have this abs as well looks like abs uh, but yeah uh, this is a really easy Hoya, Hoya as well to take care of um, different to some others I'm going to show you uh, but this one is just growing it has recently moved to uh, Lechuza Pond uh, so we will see uh, but it has a little bit of splashing and she is just very tiny. I don't know how to do a head test, but you can see compared to my hands and fingers. And I, this is a small plant. So here you can see like the will get a little bit bigger than I am. Little lady, little lady. You are disrupting the little video. So yeah, they, they will get better or bigger when they mature, um, but not not too big. I have another uh, Croniana and that is the Super Eskimo or Super Silver or Super Splash. So you can see compared to the other one that this one is very, very splashy and silvery. And I know people are struggling with this one, but I am not. <laughs> this is growing, has been growing so much. I can put a picture of it here from when I got it and put the date as well because I don't exactly know. But I know that the person I got it from is struggling with hers and she hers is now as big as mine was when I got it. but. Mine is just growing. She is just doing her thing. And yeah. Can you not? She's being really annoying. Uh, but yeah, I really, really love this one. Next up, we have a little bit of a tie, but I think I'm going to show you this one first. And this is a Hoya Kanya Kumariana. And this is a plant I really fell in love with on the internet. And I finally got it. And you can see like the shape or the ruffles of these leaves. They're just adorable. You are not adorable. So annoying. I hope it doesn't disturb the video too much. Uh, but yeah, I love the shape of these leaves and they are so plump as well. They are just, if I would push on this, they would break. I just have to let my cat out because she's really annoying. Hello.
There we go, and I can make a video in peace. Uh, but yeah, I really love this, and I really need to get this something to climb on, because she is doing something weird. And I have most of these in my IKEA greenhouse, and they are just, they can't take too much space. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe I will cut this. It has quite a long, two long nodes here, so... But yeah, we will see. Uh, number three on the list is this Hoya Hirkaliana, and this is a the variegated version. And she just looks so, so, so pretty, and she has very, very cute and tiny leaves. This one did actually bloom. I will put a picture here with cute pink flowers and as this is variegated it gets sun stressed uh, so you can see the pinkish leaves there and yeah she is cute i am appreciating that this leaf seems to have a little bit more green um yeah she is really really cute now we are getting into the the small ones. This one is a Hoya Curtisii and there is two forms of this plant and I do actually think that I have the two different forms in this pot because as you can see there this one is much bigger and this one is much smaller and it's hard to show you, but these leaves, the bigger ones are more flat and the smaller ones are more round. Um, so, I, I, I don't know, but they are really, really cute splash. And this is also a plant that people seem to have a bit a hard time to keep alive. But crossing my fingers, it seems to be okay in my care. It is sometimes, like you can see on this one, the two nodes, one here and one here, drop the two new leaves because I watered it when I got new leaves. So sometimes it's a little bit of a drama, but she's alive now and she is shooting out new growth. So yeah, but these leaves are just so, so cute. This is a plant that has had been on a wish, my wish list for a long time as well. And yeah, she is a cutie, trailing a little bit too. And lastly, we have the Hoya Serpents. <laughs> and this is such a funky looking plant. Like it looks like it has a little bit of abs too, but yeah, this can be a little bit of a drama, uh, drama queen as well, but and she's a she's a slow grower too. Um, a lot of people may know not know about the, about this plant, but this plant is actually one of the two parents of the Hoya Matilde that people seem to know a little bit more about. And if you think the Hoya Matilde has small leaves, just just look at that. <laughs> It's nothing, it's nothing compared to the serpents. And the other parent to the Matilde is the regular Hora, Hoya Carnosa. Uh, so this is much easier to take care of, but this is much cuter. <laughs> so here you can see the two smaller ones together. Yeah, they are very cute. Let's see if we can get something to focus. Yeah, they are very cute. So this is the biggest one we have on the list and this is the smallest one. And also people that think all Hoyas looks the same. I don't know if you need to go to the eye doctor or what, but they look nothing the same to me. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Hoya content. And if there's anything more in the Hoya 
thing you want to see, just tell me. And I will try to do some more Hoya videos. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for now. And I will see you next time. Bye!